Good morning. <laughs> it's Norm here from International Motor Cars, and today we are in mostly sunny Vancouver, and we are actually gonna go tour around, do a couple little touristy things, and then we're actually gonna go check out the Lucid Air showroom. So Lucid is a new electric car manufacturer. I know nothing about it, so we're gonna quickly Google some stats so we can tell you about them, and then we're gonna check out the Lucid Air. With frost, cold night and the winter hot cold Sorry that I fall away sometimes Sorry that I fall away sometimes Yeah, yeah The end, got to end it all on the weekend Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Oh, oh, yeah You don't really wanna know me Hanging in the corner with a nose yeah. High on whatever they saw me That's the old me, yeah Six years later trying to find me Still trying to figure out the line Peace, looking for the love inside me Inside me is gonna get in and film or talk to us about it. It's pretty sick. <laughs> so I know oh, I'll let you do your video first. No 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 you you talk. You I, talk. I, I know that you uh, you said you've been in a lot of different luxury cars, anything yes. like that. Um, familiarities, differences similar? What what do you think so far? Just take a seat on the inside there. Um uh, to the seat move. It does, yes, and you do have actually some more, if you go into seats on the top there, you have all your adjustments oh, and then sick. you can set it to your profile Crazy. there. So you got Tesla style, okay, but these are fixed. Okay. You can move it to the side, yeah. um, but they are fixed in right there. Yeah. And they are actually higher up on the production version. Okay, cool. Yeah. You got the same kind of roof design. It's pretty sick. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, it's pretty sick. Stream? Oh, that's cool. I'm guessing this is like volume controls and... Yes, so the one on your right would be your media. Yeah. So you have the skip tracks and the volume and then Amazon Alexa where your right thumb is. So it's listening to you all the time. <laughs> we, do, we do have Amazon <laughs> in the car, yeah. Um, You're gonna start getting ads for everything you talk about. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. So the idea here is built a little bit around the... A little bit more about the driving experience, right? Okay. So in your line of sight, you have your speed, your dream drive pro would all be in that front there. 
on the right hand side would be your maps, your music, your navigation. On this side? Yeah, and then on the left hand side is just quick controls there. So with this being our pre-production, that one, the, the um, maps don't load up. But if you oh, press on music, yeah. you can see the other nice thing is these two work together. Okay, cool. So you can swipe your music up. Oh, sick. Cool. Or, or you can swipe your music down if you wanted it back and forth, right? Sick. So is that between like all the skinny yeah, screens? Yeah, can do so that? with maps you can either choose which screen you want it on or on the phone you can have, you'll have who you're calling yeah. and then if you swipe down your contacts and all that stuff, Sick. that would be there. The idea here is we didn't want everything locked into this screen, so much so that if you wanted it completely gone, oh, you can what? slide it right in, a little bit of extra storage underneath there and then if you just press that arrow there, this? Yep, that'll come right back down. Sick. Absolutely. This is cool inside for sure. Thank you very much. You definitely get not like fully futuristic vibes, but like you get the future feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you get the feeling of just something different. Absolutely. Than what we have today, right? Yeah, so lock and unlock, give the window locks, the charge port, all just stuff that, you know, would be regular physical buttons in other cars. We do have some physical buttons, so you'll see um, the, the volume control the climate speed and climate temp um, on there. Just things that people use a lot, right? Doug Demira would be proud. <laughs> That's sick. So cool. Absolutely. No, if you I wanted mean, to, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, if you wanted to switch out as well, a big highlight is the back seat, how spacious it is. Um, I know Doug talked about that in, in his review. Um, being that our drivetrain, our, our batteries are so efficient, yep. we can give that space back to the passengers. So is the right? battery like all along the bottom Underneath, of the car Underneath, right under our oh, feet right here. Gotcha. Yeah. So just like I can show you how it's stacked in just over there. Sick. Absolutely. Yeah, let's check out the back. Sure. Yeah, for sure. I know. Okay, door handle. Oh, crazy. Yeah, so it's just a little trigger on the door there. Oh, yeah, in Alberta. This is screen here, or their screen here. Yeah. Uh, passenger can sort of you know go through on here and then you guys are a little bit more comfortable in the back there you do have a ski pass through so that it can be used for road trips stuff like that too right it's not specifically meant to be a car that you only take out once a year it's supposed yeah. to be you know a luxury daily driver that you can drive for 10 15 years right? I like I hate being passenger in anything yeah but it's like pretty comfortable back here. it is you know nice. what I mean like I'm not like squished like um it's pretty, pretty comfy. Yeah. Absolutely. So then, uh, oh yeah, no, I actually answered my question. Are you driving an electric car currently? Uh, no. You, no? What do, what do you have at the moment? Uh, in Vancouver, I have a C63S. Okay, fantastic. And I guess I'm driving a McLaren 570. Nice, fantastic. So, How do you like them? Um, C63 is cool. That's fine. Those are. I'm, I mean, I'm obviously not like, I'm not a huge electric car guy. Yeah. But obviously, I've, like, I've driven Tesla, I've driven Karma. Uh, yeah. Full electric, I've driven everything. But obviously, it's the way the world's going. Yeah. So what do you do? You just adapt to it. Right? Yeah. Like, and that that was a big thing that I've noticed with a lot of my right? customers is a lot of them coming from an S class, coming from a Bentley, coming from whatever, right? And they say, if I wanted to go electric, I had options already. I specifically didn't want to because I didn't have a car that I felt like I wasn't compromising anything on, right? Um, and that's just from my experience, the people that have been coming in and, and you know, placing reservations are those sorts of, you know, people that are used to that, that fit and finish and feel, right? And like, for me, I mean, like, I've always been into fast cars. Yeah. So like, okay, you can make a car faster than anything I've ever driven. Okay, I'm not opposed to electric, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, exactly. Okay, like, I mean, I drove a Plaid. Yeah. And like, yeah. like you know what I mean? Like, mind-blowing performance, so it's like, I don't give a shit that it's electric if the car drives like that. Like, who cares? Yeah, right? so. exactly. Yeah, if you're going to, uh, you know, make it fun, right? You don't want to have it like, oh, I have to go electric. You want yeah. to be like, oh, I want to go electric because, if, you know, the speed and because the comfort and because the being able to leave my house with a full charge, right? Vancouver is a very different market. I mean, you're from Edmonton, so yeah. you know, it's different electric market here than there. Exactly. Like, Alberta is only just kind of getting into it compared to Vancouver. There's yeah. chargers everywhere. But yeah. we're definitely getting there in Alberta, right? Like, I mean, you can, you can do it. I mean. And the, the big thing, too, is in Canada specifically, I see our market being, yeah, it does, it just taps on, yeah, just like that. Or if you swipe across it, 
sometimes it'll yeah i know the pre-production is a little touchy um in canada specifically i f think that we have a very unique product because of the 830 kilometers of range right so in in edmonton and calgary especially like if in winters no matter what these are still batteries you're going to lose sure. some range right if you lost half of your range which isn't going to happen but if you lost yeah. half of your it's range in this you still four fifteen kilometers of range right yeah. so that's where i see definitely people that have places in Kelowna that want to go place in whistler or you know if you're in calgary if you have a place in Kelowna as well right you can make it there and not have to be like where where do i have to charge even if it's a cold you know you're going in the yeah. winter right well i drove a model x from calgary to vancouver oh winter. really so I've done the whole yeah. experience of stopping at every charge station, so I know, right? Yeah. So, and that was a P90, or sorry, not a P90, a 90D, so that had 420 of range or 440 of range. Yeah. So, I mean, 850 is like, it's pretty good. It, it is quite a bit, yeah. It's definitely, then you don't, you know. You don't have range anxiety. That, and that's the other part of the luxury aspect, right? Like the, the leather, the, the materials, that's great. But, like, there was a great New York Times article that summed it up where it was, you know, any car maker can have the nice, you know, material stuff like that, but you're paying extra for, you know, the range, the performance, stuff like that, where um, I, I had a guy who was, you know, looking between a few different things and he said, you know what, the same way I would have paid extra for a V8 or a V10, I'll pay extra for an extra 200 kilometers of for range, sure. right? Of course. It's just a different sort of, yeah. you know, wording, of right? Yeah. So what's Lucid's plans with like future models? Are they gonna bring out other, like SUV or? We have an SUV plan for 2024 called the Lucid Gravity, it's on our website. Okay. I can show you the mock-up photos. Not taking reservations at the moment. Um, there is a, a wait list where you can sort of sign up and get newsletter updates, but that's uh, that's our future plan for, for that one there. And then we did, like I said, just release the uh, performance version of the Grand Touring. All right, so that was our tour of the all new Lucid Air at Lucid Vancouver. Very cool car and thank you to them for showing us around and showing us the vehicle. Um, my thoughts on that car is I actually think, um, from the limited amount of, uh, info I know about it now is it is actually a very cool car. Um, it is a lot more expensive than the Tesla model S. Um, but it does offer very good range, very good performance and something that's very unique. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the styling. But I also feel like that car out on the road, actually like seeing it drive by as opposed to being in a showroom, I think would do it a lot more justice. Uh, in the showroom, it was kind of like whatever. But uh, it's got this super cool light, uh, LED light that goes across the whole front that I think at night, if you saw this thing coming towards you or driving down the street, would look absolutely incredible and make the vehicle definitely stand out for, you know, $230,000 for a, for a performance model. Um, that's kind of my uh, take on it from Limited. It'd be interesting to drive one. I'm sure it's going to drive like a Tesla Plaid uh, in terms of performance, handling, all that sort of stuff. But it seemed like a pretty good car. So uh, th that is the Lucid Air Tour. And again, thank you to Lucid Vancouver for showing us the vehicle and telling us all about it. Seems like a good brand. And I definitely hope that Lucid uh, sells a few and we start seeing them on the road here and in Calgary. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you guys on the next one.